in the war of PewDiePie versus T-Series, PewDiePie has fallen. However, not all is lost, because thanks to hours of research and using my fucking brain, I've discovered the way on how T-Series gets millions of subs per month. It's, it's not exactly anything new. It's not exactly moral either, to be honest. Hey guys, Dead Channel here. PewDiePie, that big lovable Swede who is known for making amnesia videos and bro fisting. Hold on. Is, how, how old is this? How old is this fucking script? Okay, I got the 2018 edition. Oh, he's, he's still doing the exact same fucking thing. Oh, actually, no, he does, um, trying to laugh challenges. You know, the trying to laugh anime editions and the My Name Jeff edition and then the, uh, Minecraft Steve edition. <laughs> okay, so, with a quick Google search, about two seconds of, uh, actually looking at what PewDiePie does, not actually watching any of his videos, I have now confirmed that PewDiePie is absolute cancer and needs to die. And YouTube seems to agree with me because they keep on recommending this channel that won't fuck up from my recommended page. So, what is this channel? Is it Leafius here? Coming back from the dead. Is it PewDiePie clone number 512? Is it your boy, Affected Son, getting negative 2 subs a day? Maybe it'll increase to negative 20 subs. If you want to see that happen, uh, sub subscribe. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually the entire population of India. I want to make a joke about how India doesn't have the infrastructure to upload, but uh, I actually want to get into the recommended videos. No, fuck off, man. Now, this is the part where I usually show some clips of what the victim is doing. Something that is so terrible that actually warrants a video about me bitching about it for 10 minutes and making it arguably slightly better than what the original video is. But T-Series, even though they have English titles, the videos are completely in Hindi. So you're probably wondering, yo, why are you crying? You can't even watch it because you don't even understand it. You're just jealous that they have more subs than you, and I'm only watching you until Leafy comes back. Well, they are doing some really shady shit from what my research team is telling me. Their content is terrible. I believe at this moment in time that they are botting subs at least, and maybe views okay. My reasoning isn't just Oh, they're botting because uh, no one can grow and I can't grow. I mean, I'm getting like no growth per day. No, okay. I, I actually do have some actual concrete proof. I'm about to drop the red pill truth bombs. <laughs> My first point is that it's sort of common sense that if the more subscribers you have, the more views you have. And it, your subscriber to view ratio is pretty low. Like, it'd be something like 5 to 15% or something like that. T-Series is like 0.7% or something. And I understand that not every subscriber is going to watch your video. And especially if you make a video that deviates from the norm. Like if I was to make something like a, I don't know, like some sort of anime review or so, or like some anime playthrough. No one's actually going to watch that because everyone just subbed to my channel for like Fortnite videos. <laughs> and I do get that uh, even if you don't deviate from the norm, people just don't want to watch you anymore. Like there's a huge problem with Minecraft channels right now where they're just all kind of dying. No one gives a fuck about Minecraft anymore, to be fair. I mean, the first videos on my channel were Fortnite, and people did subscribe to see more stuff like that, but Fortnite is just something that I can't really do at the moment, so they don't really watch my commentary videos, but T-Series makes the same content every day, more than once a day even. Even if you don't like the video that they upload that day, just four similar that you probably will like if you subscribe to them. It makes no sense. Also, there's like no interaction on their videos, which is some of my videos have more interactions than that, like videos with 100k views have the same level of interaction as videos with like 1k views. Side point as well that I discovered after the video, so I apologize if my quality sounds kind of shit. Even though it's not YouTube, so no one cares. The Twitter has like 80 million people following it, but they get like 5 likes on every tweet. Actual insanity. My next point is more concrete. YouTube channels have been accused of bombing before and have been proven to bot in the past. They have these massive subscriber swings to the point where the last subscribers count can't even keep up. There shouldn't even be a swing because of the fact that they upload every day, like five times a day. But even if it did happen, I mean, if I was to make a video that was like some sort of like 10 hour, like amazing animation, then yeah, I'd have a huge subscriber swing. But if I'm uploading five times a day, the same content, it should be a constant stream of people, right? Even if that specific day, the five videos that I made were just somehow like extremely amazing above everything else. The way that it swings is not natural for them, like in any capacity. My third point is more sad. It's the fact that every big YouTuber who was a piece of shit has bothered before. The good thing is that I can't really show any popular examples because they are terminated. Thank you, Jesus. The YouTube themselves have said that they can't really do shit against botting. And I know it sounds really bad, but can't really blame them. I mean, okay, let's just say that you want to fuck up Rice Gum, okay? Like, you're tired of him flexing on literally everyone for no reason. You just buy 10 million fake views, and then Google bans him, and they fuck his life, basically. Instead of that, Google's just like, ah, well, well, we'll just lower their CPM. Maybe we won't. Who cares? 
Now they're shizmatized anyway. So, in conclusion, T-Series, spawning, no one cares. All right, pretty my nigga PewDiePie, you'll be remembered for your 5 this playthrough of Amnesia. Anyway, guys, I got links in the description if you want to make clip commentaries or just YouTube videos in general like mine, or better, pro probably better. Peace, guys.